All right, uh, because of the rarity of videos that I find online um, to do different things in my car, I'm just gonna start making videos so that I can help somebody else who possibly can't find the videos. Uh, today we're gonna be replacing the coil pack in a Chevy 350 motor. In this particular model distributor, the distributor is by Summit Racing, but GM also makes the HEI type coil packs, uh, which is what you see here. Starting from the right, you have the red wire, black wire, and yellow wire. And this is the old one. The new one is going to come with all the bolts and the spacer you need in between the distributor and the coil pack. It comes with a ground, which you don't really need. I'm going to use the old one that I had, which is just an old ground wire. And then you have all the screws, which also comes with the new one. I just don't feel like using them. You're going to want to start by taking off the air filter, which I've already done. It's just a screw screws down onto the carburetor. Really simple. Uh, with these particular types of distributors, you have one, two, three bolts that hold on to the latch at the top. When you take it off, the old one is just going to sit inside of here with four bolt holes that sit on the inside and you can see how they sit. It'll sit with the circle down with the four bolts. Once you get the new pack in, there are three wires down below that the new one plugs into it's going to be the red to the far right black and then yellow and then you hook the ground wire into the back and this is the new one circle side down first i'm going to go ahead and take this Spacer, put it down so it sits in between the coil and the actual distributor. Okay, after you get the spacer down in the hole, you are simply going to take the new coil pack that you have and place it down into the holes, like so. Alright, these are what the bullets should look like. There's just four of them. And you're going to want to screw that in with a quarter inch bit with a small socket. It works fine. You just want to get an extension so you can get down to the drill holes in the back. Okay, and once you get it bolted back onto the distributor, you're going to want to take the red wire first and just push it back down into the hole that you originally got it out of. And it should easily push back into these wires. That's what's connecting it. So you take the red to the far right. You're gonna wanna unbolt one of the back screws and ground the black wire back to the actual coil pack and then take the yellow and go to the far left. And once that step is done, you're gonna take the ground wire and one end is gonna connect to this screw and the other end is gonna slide into the middle. Now, this normally doesn't come with the pack what normally comes with the pack would be this in which you would just slide this down into the middle and then the hook would go around the back screw still really simple 
And once you get the last piece grounded, say I went to the front screw and then went directly to the middle, pushed it in. All that's left is to turn the cap. Slides right on top. Put your air filter back 